Okay, are we back now? Just checking. I think we're back now, so I'm going to continue. Okay, where was I? Alright. Here we go. Let's go, Mitsurugi. We'll just waste time if we keep we'll just waste time if we keep standing around. Rega turned around, partially ignoring Soji's bewilderment. It happened so quick that Soichi couldn't move. As a result, the chain buying them stretched out and rang loudly. Hey Mitsurugi, get moving. Reika glared at Soichi, nursing the par on her wrist and snared by the handcuff. Had gone slightly scraped to being doing due to being tugged by the chain multiple times already. S sorry. Soichi frantically headed over to her side. She'd been like this the whole time. All right, they've been like this the whole time. Soichi was a was a head taller than Reika. Because of that, their paces were considerably different. Meaning, if they didn't walk in sync, he would inver he would inver he would inevitably end up dragging her lar her arm along. Thanks to that, their um their wrists had been slightly injured as a result, because the edges of the cuffs were quite tight. <laughs> Sheesh, I want to get these handcuffs off as soon as possible. So could you quit staring off into space like that? Sorry, I'll keep it in mind. Soichi bowed his head in apology one more time. Since we have that gun, it went along thinking we could strong arm them. But it looks like that was a swing and a miss. Reika looked down on Soichi with a steely gaze. In reality, she'd had a plan. In her mind, the chance of Goda and the others still being there had been quite slim. But if, but if they had been there, she would have used Soichi's gun to hold them up for their PDAs. They were up against three unarmed um, salaryman and the kid. That would have given her four PDAs. It would have been simple with a gun. But since her hunch had proven correct, she ended up having to shelve the idea. Looks like it's not going to be that easy, huh? Oh well. I'll also have to make good use of that gun while I still can. The handcuffs are limiting my actions. But if we're the only ones with a gun, that's a different story. The revolver's got five shots. It won't be long before they're all used up, but as long as I have that, then being handcuffed won't pose a disadvantage at all. <laughs> Just as long as you understand. Let's go, Mitsurugi. Uh, okay. But in reality, things didn't go the way go or Reika had planned. Since they couldn't leave through the entrance hall, she and Soichi decided to head for the upper floors in accordance to the rules.
They figured that by doing so, they would have a set goal while also giving them a way to look for a tool to remove the handcuffs and obtain PDAs. Sorry, I need to turn off for a second. Hold on.